What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of our Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm super excited for today's episode because I think, people, I'm correct, I think I'm actually a genius. So, in the previous episode, if you guys remember, we left Honey on the tree. Now, it's been a full day since I haven't recorded and I'm like, I went started this thing up and I'm like... Could there be a Pokemon on this tree? I don't know, but I'm so excited for it, and I have actually no idea why. But what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Diamond Randomizer. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and you do find yourself enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscription button, so you guys don't miss out on any more episodes to come. So, taking a look at the team, um, I did manage to train Uka Uka uh, up to level 17, so the guy's rocking it right now. Um, and then we also have Jesse the Arbog, which is an absolute tank, uh, at level 20, and now Breeze is just chilling at level 18. So... Oh, my honey was on, but it's gone. Damn you, honey. Well, honey, me and you can no longer be friends. I do apologize. I left honey on that tree. I know it. You guys saw me leave honey on that tree, and I think it must have come and gone. I think the Pokemon must have got it and then kind of went. God damn you, honey. God damn you, honey. All right, so the best thing that we can do, to be honest, is make our way up to back towards um, the top of here. There is a select trainers that we haven't taken on yet, I, I do believe. Uh, and I think it was this way, wasn't it? Uh, and then we can pick up a brand new encounter. When this... Oh my lord. I, he took so long, like he was so delayed. Um, there is an encounter that we can get, um, I'm pretty sure, when we get into Eternal Forest, which is going to be pretty dope. Uh, this guy has a Manaphy, legendary counter number five, please. Or number four, one of the two. I don't know, but I, I added the legendary encounters because essentially what I wanted to happen was someone like pointed it out saying, yo, Christian, you, you encounter a lot of legendaries every time you play through a Pokemon game. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> you are right. Oh my lord, this thing had Dragon Dance all this time. Goodbye. Um, so I wanted to actually keep track of how many uh, like legendary Pokemon I've encountered. So, anything that can be considered a legendary, I know some Pokemon are like mythical, but essentially what we class as a legendary, I guess, is Pokemon that aren't obtainable throughout random, like, encounters, I guess. That is what I class as a legendary, so. Even like Victini or uh, Meloetta, anything like that, even though they're like, um, given Pokemon, I, I want to say that they're uh, legendary Pokemon just because you can't obtain them when you're playing throughout the game. So that's what I'd say. Now, if I encounter Dialga, I, I'll still put it down as a legendary encounter, because he's a legendary Pokemon. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way first. Ooh. Okay, Breezy needs to come back, because he's about, he's getting destroyed out there. My lord, see Breezy, take a, take a rest, my friend, take a rest. Ganlon Berry. I should have a counter for how many friggin' berries I've encountered this let's play. I think every single item I pick up is a berry. I swear, I swear to you people, it is a berry. Damn, to go for the Shadow Force. Almost a KO. Finished off with a headbutt. Thank you very much. I'm so happy that I picked up Uka Uka, but I'm hoping that we can get something decent when we go into the next part of um next part of this. Eternal Forest, usually you encounter two Pokemon, so it's pretty dope that I get to um, choose from the two. So I always find that interesting. Many poison type Pokemon make their Eternal Forest their home, but I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Well, that's why you should have a Sherry. Pretty sure Sherry always heals my Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways, let's make our way into a Turner Forest and we should be able to pick up a brand new Pokemon. Hello, my name. Oh, it's Cheryl, not Sherry. My lord, this shows you how long a time I have not played this. Uh, I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. And I think there'd be safety in numbers. May I have threes go through with you? Of course you may, darling. Of course. Only if you show me some good Pokemon when I get in this thing. My Pokemon got poisoned and now I can't battle. God damn you. God damn you, man. Anyways, our first encounters are. A stun tank and a Zural. <laughs> a stun tank and an Azuril. I think I'll kill this. I th yeah, I think we'll kill the stun tank. But then again, like Azuril is gonna be so hard to train up. Oh my lord, this thing had Blizzard. Kill that thing. Don't kill the Azumarill. Okay, good. Good. Let me capture this thing. Nope. Let me capture this thing. Oh my lord, what is happening? No! Oh my lord, it hit itself, it hit itself. Okay, Pokeball, please. You're my last hope. 
A level 11 Azuril couldn't... Bro, that is so stupid. That is so stupid, man. A level 11 Azuril couldn't stay in the friggin' ball. How does that even make sense? How does that even make sense? I guess it's like Gen 3's turn now to just show up. I think so. I think it is, people. I think it is. Anyways, we only can get a new... For real? Why, why is all these Pokemon stacked? Oh my lord, that wake-up slap, though. I think the only next encounter we can get... Well, once we get to a Eternus City, we can actually get quite a few encounters. We get um, one before, I think. Or does it... Uh, no, I think that counts as the same route, doesn't it? I think so, yeah. Um, once we get through there, uh, we can go to the right. We get an encounter in there, and then we also get an encounter in the cave. So, things aren't looking too bad, I mean. Uh, oh, can bury again! Legit, can someone make a, a a berry encounter every time we literally run into a berry? So let's put Uka up to the top because Uka doesn't need to train up. Do you have a friggin' Tyranitar? That's cute. That is cute. There we go. When a trainer and a Pokemon's bond is one, a wondrous power is born. That's mega evolution, bro. Mega evolution, my man. Oh my lord, Doom Desire. Ah, thank god that didn't do too much. Bro, why can't I take down this Skaroopy? Yo, what? He's getting HP back from my Spark. That's insane. And Firefang all this time was super effective. That's annoying. Anywho, and ugh, two Volbeats. What? I genuinely don't understand why this game is sectioned off like this. Like, I, oh yeah, we get a Luxury Ball. That's pretty dope. We get like Gen 1 encounters the first like th three routes. The next encounters are all Gen 3. I wonder when the Gen 1 Pokemon, uh, Gen 2 Pokemon will appear. I have no idea, but I'm hoping it's soon. You got a B drill. Oh my lord, no, I was fast forwarding! Okay! What have I got? <laughs> oh my lord, okay, that was fast forwarding. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. God damn it, Uka. God damn it, and I just spent like 20 minutes before I actually came into the game leveling you up, man. God damn it, Uka. Should have been paying more attention to that. My bad, I'll say my bad on that one. What's the purge? Go. Yo, it's so powerful that I have that. I need to find a firestone like really fast. I, fr I swear to God, if this is a berry, I found the fist plate. You know, that's something you really, really need to use. I mean, it's good for fighting type moves, but I don't have any fighting type Pokemon, my friend. I have none. I'll go for the signal beam, take care of the Paris. You know the fun fact, you know Paris? When it evolves into Parasect, um, on the back of Paris is like the little like virus thing that turns into Parasect. Fun little fact for you there. Extreme speed, this thing. Oh, yo, I have to switch. I have to switch. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're so weird. Everybody's burned. Firefang, goodbye, Dusclops. It's a good job Cheryl's with me. It's a really good job she's with me. There's no item chilling around there. Oh, and I also can get an encounter when I get cut, because I can go into the Haunted Mansion, can't I? Haunted Mansion, I just called it. Oh, my Lord. The, the old chateau. I called it the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> oh my lord, I am sorry, I do apologize. It has been some time since I played this game. Okay. I don't really want to get an encounter. But it happens anyways. Um, let's get up on it out. A leaf stone? Oh, bro, I didn't need a leaf stone, I needed a fire stone. Anyway, Cheryl. It's about time me and you ditch, girl. It was nice having you. It was nice having you. This is Route 205, and I do believe this is the same route as before. Yes, Route 205. So, you can't actually capture a Pokemon here, which is kind of sad. But, that doesn't mean we can capture anything else in Eternity City now. So, let's go ahead and put Uka in the PC box. 
I do apologize about Uka. That's two deaths already, man. Two deaths in like five episodes. That's too bad. That's bad. I'm a bad Pokemon trainer. I still only have two Pokemon. Um, my next best bet is to buy some Pokeballs and stock up on those things. I'm gonna buy 23 of those and I'm gonna buy a few potions just to be safe. Just to be safe, because you never know what's going to happen. Anything could possibly happen in this game, for God's sake. Cynthia. I completely forgot that she appeared here. What's your name? Oh, hello, Yellow. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia, a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, and just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there are a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it when you're in your traveling with your Pokedex. So we do get cut, but... We can't use cut until we get the gym badge, right? Which kind of sucks. But there is an item chilling behind here. Another berry? It's another berry. Shout out to the person if you actually... Oh, yo, I've got the old rod, haven't I? Yes, we can get an encounter in Eternal City. Okay, dope. I completely forgot that was like a little bit of a water. Not even a nibble, though. Just drop a Tyranitar or something like that for me. I'd be much appreciated. It would be much appreciated. Or oh, something good along them lines. Ah, <laughs> oh, Snubble, I don't want you on my team. God damn it, Snubble. Okay, so my next encounter is a Heracross. Okay, I will take that thing. I will take that thing. E speed it. Hey, boy, my girl! Why do I completely forget about the crits all the time? I actually hate Pokemon. Ah! There was an Entei here! Bro! Okay, Breezy, you're going back. You're going to freaking Jesse going the front. My lord. <laughs> Heracross, I do apologize, man. This hiker guy. I'm a chop. My chop. You have to be kidding me! EXPLOSION?! Bro, what even is this game?! Oh, I swear to god, Gengar. You will die to the hands of a luster purge. Okay, whatever I encounter here, I need to capture. Mount Coronet, please be nice. Please be nice, for God's sake. A Venomoth. A friggin' Venomoth. I can't hit it because I'll kill it! <laughs> I can't hit it because I'd kill it! <laughs> please! Just stay in the ball! STAY IN THE BALL! And y'all need to understand why this game gets me so frustrated sometimes. I can't hit it. I will literally kill the thing. Just stay in. I've wasted all my Pokeballs. Okay, I'll not speed up. I'll not speed up. How's that sound? Okay, I'm going to try one last Pokeball. I don't care. Didn't kill it. Signal beam didn't kill it, people. Okay, we made me look. Oh my lord, just stay in the friggin' ball. Thank you, Venomoth. Oh my lord, bro. Explosion, friggin' Machop, friggin' Venomoth. What am I even gonna call this thing? I call this thing Sakura, but then again, is She's not female. 
But I don't care, Venomoth. You caused this. You actually caused this. I can't even freaking spell Sakura, never mind actually use the thing. I, I don't actually care if that's how you don't spell it. <laughs> You're a rock type! Rivalry! Oh, that's why you were doing so much damage. What else was there in here? What should they just show? A cro there was a crocodile! I genuinely don't understand why this game hates me as much as what it does. But it does. It really does. <laughs> I can't believe we just lost Jesse as well, man. Now I have a freaking Growlithe and a Venomoth. Bro, that's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <sighs> Sakura, you need training up. You need training up. Um, the only thing that we can do now is take on the gym. We have to take on the gym first before we actually start going ahead and, um... Taken on the Team Galactic place. So I guess we're gonna have to. Freaking Ed. No, no way. Oh my lord, this is the worst episode ever. I swear everything is out to kill me. All I wanna do is battle this guy right here. Oh my lord! A Torterra? Okay, you're a guy, so I can wake up to that. Oh my l <laughs> This is actually painful. This is actually painful! Ugh, signal beam that thing. Oh my lord. A Beniri? That's what I want. Show, show me a Beniri. Okay, I think that this is... Ugh, freaking Gengar. There's so many good Pokemon in here. I had to get a freaking... Venomoth that I can't... <laughs> I can't catch a break. I cannot catch a break. I really can't catch a break. Uh, let me deposit, let me deposit Venomoth in death again, oh my lord, this is just getting bad, people, this is just getting bad, this isn't even fun anymore, this isn't fun anymore, um, I genuinely don't know what to do, Breeze is the only thing that we've got at the minute that is good, uh, we can't get a new Pokemon, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, the only other thing I can think to do is, You get that. Ah, the only thing that we can do is get that. But I don't know if that makes the person who can turn it into a fossil for me. I don't know now if we've talked to him, he can turn it into a fossil for me. I genuinely don't know. Nobody can learn that. Um, The only other thing I can think to do is... There's no towns with any water around anywhere. We've already tried to capture something in Eternal City. We can't get on here because of the put. Uh, we need the bike. No, we need a bicycle before we can even get a next encounter. Oh, let me take a look. Who do we have in available? We have Pajar and Coco. I can't use Coco, man. It's level two. It's level two. We're gonna have to get Pidgey on the team, aren't we? We're gonna have to get Pidgey on the team. Um, I think for next episode, I do need to grind. I'm gonna have to grind a lot for next episode. A lot for next episode. But I think I am gonna get up on out of today's episode here. I need to catch a break. I need to stop recording. My lord, this thing is driving me insane. Next episode, we will train up Pidgey. Uh, we'll try and get it up to around the same level as Breezy. 
Uh, and then we can take on the Galactic Headquarters and hopefully the gym as well in the next episode. So, if you guys are looking forward to that, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As it's always super greatly appreciated, make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any more videos to come. I know it's kind of been short, but there's nothing much more I can really do because I need to grind so much. So, big thank you to everybody that has watched today's episode. Like I said, check out the playlist if you did miss any other episode. With all that being said, guys, I will see you all back next time for the next video. <laughs> Peace out, guys.